Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 1 of topic 6, Chemical Reactions. In science, we encounter two types of changes, physical and chemical. Physical changes alter the form or appearance of a substance without changing its chemical composition. So this type of change does not make any new chemical substances. Examples include melting ice, dissolving sugar in water and mixing two or more substances, say sand and salt. So in the case of mixing sand and salt, it is a physical change because both substances retain their chemical identities. They can be separated by physical methods like filtration because they haven't undergone a chemical reaction. Physical changes usually can be reversed because they don't involve any change in the chemical composition of the substances involved. For example, if you melt ice into water, you can freeze the water back into ice. Chemical changes, on the other hand, involve the formation of new substances with different chemical compositions. Examples include burning wood and rusting iron. In chemical reactions, new chemical substances are produced and they have characteristics that are very different from the original reactants. So unlike physical changes, most chemical reactions cannot be reversed to return to the original reactants because they involve the formation of new substances with different chemical compositions. Signs that a chemical reaction has taken place include formation of a solid, Formation of gas that is bubbling or fizzing. Change in colour. Release or absorption of heat that is temperature change. And formation of a new odour. These signs indicate that the reactants have undergone a chemical change resulting in the formation of new substances. Next, let's learn about collision theory. Collision theory suggests that for a chemical reaction to happen, two things must take place. Particles must collide with each other and they must do so with enough energy. These collisions are essential for breaking bonds and forming new substances. So, if a collision is successful, that means a reaction will occur. So, if they collide but not with enough energy, then the reaction will not occur. These are called unsuccessful collisions. So, just because they collide, it doesn't mean that they will react. If the particles have enough energy but do not collide, then also the reaction will not occur. These factors are important for the number of successful collisions. Number of particles per unit volume, frequency of collisions between particles, kinetic energy of particles and activation energy. If there are more particles in a particular volume, there is a higher chance of more collisions between particles. 
The more collisions there are between reactant particles, the greater the chance that they will collide with enough energy to undergo a reaction. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion that particles have. Higher kinetic energy increases the likelihood of successful collisions and thus the reaction rate. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a chemical reaction to occur. According to collision theory, particles have to hit each other hard enough to overcome this push to make the reaction happen. Only collisions with energy greater than or equal to the activation energy lead to a successful reaction. All of these factors influence the rate of reaction which is determined by the number of successful collisions occurring in a given time. That concludes part 1 of topic 6 chemical reactions. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here is a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye-bye.